Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes, so Forza Horizon and I'm having a look at that 70s championship season 31 on spring and you get the Honda S800 for this, so Meadows Sprint, Cotswold Super Sprint and Lakehurst Cop Circuit are your events for this one. This gets you that new exclusive car like I said and Got some spiel off Kira here, which, you know, by the by, we've all heard stuff before. But when it comes to cars, it's 1970s, and I'm going for the Corvette ZR1, the Chevy. The classic muscle car, this is really cool, and it's called Stable B-Class. And I've used this quite a few times for quite a few different events, and the share code is up there if you haven't already got this. But this is definitely going to be the best choice for this event so what we'll do is we'll get into this stuff and let's sort of see how we get on really first up we've got the meadow sprint yeah okay let's have a check on this highly skilled i've got traction on i've got stability off because it turns a little better you know so go 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 eighth place start pulling up to seventh into sixth taking fifth into fourth this is too easy really third second and just a battle for first here a little nudge and round that corner you're into the wall a bit dirty but i'm in first place go 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 so yeah this chevy is absolutely awesome i absolutely love this car this is one of my favorites in the game and i have got a handful of favorite cars and it's the stuff which i always go to for certain events it's stuff which okay if that qualifies i'm definitely grabbing it and it's it's going and this is one of them and being a 1970s car it actually qualifies for this i'm going brilliant got the b class and yeah first place handling quite well because i haven't got the stability on it does drift a little bit so i need to be a bit more mindful of the walls but this is actually pretty respectable these guys are pushing me a little bit but i've got no worries on this at all i've got no worries on this at all and little clip of a hedge coming up here 49 percent, 50 percent, and yeah this is this is actually quite nice quite relaxing not really expected it to be much of a challenge in all honesty because i know i've got a decent car a decent tune and it's not in any sort of silly it's not in any silly class or anything it's just a a class it's just a b class 1970s it's a nice little drive in the countryside this in comparison to a lot of it and you're definitely pushing me in that little wherever you are behind me but i'm not having it i'm gonna win it because with this, it's all about the championships. You have to win the championships. I say this every week because it's a common question and it's not something I think is adequately explained within Forza. Yes, win a championship. Yes, get more points than the other players. Okay, fair enough. But how do you do that? And it breaks down simply into needing to get a first place win in two of the events and a second place in another event and that's where you're going to get the championship and that's that one out of the way i've got first place that's giving me 20 points and skipping over we're going into the next one cotswold super sprint and keeping the same settings again but yeah you get 20 points for a win 16 for a second and just goes down from there and it's always the same people who you end up in first, second, third, unless you pass them. Because you pass and you get into second, you get into first, they're all falling in behind you. And ultimately, these top two or three people are the ones you're actually competing against. It isn't Joe Bloggs driving around in 12th place. Nobody cares about that. You're not going to sort of affect me. But um, it's these top few AIs, these top few people. And... If you get in two wins and a second place, at that point, it's actually impossible for it's actually impossible for any of the other.
cars to get more points than you because the idea is 60 points is the maximum that's three events 20 points each but as long as you get 56 points nobody can can beat you on that and that's how you do it so you always go for the win if you can and i always sort of give you these tunes give you these setups to give you sort of the best opportunity like a fighting chance at actually doing this because some of these like this one are pretty straightforward others are actually pretty difficult and it's one of those where i always try and give you tune setups i do these videos showing you the events and everything so you go okay that's how he's done so he's you know i've you know learned from my example of how i've got it right or how i've got it wrong you know if you look at it, oh he's messed up there make sure i don't do that that corner's a bit dodgy or okay fair enough interesting way sort of he's overtook that or this tune or that tune is a good recommendation you know it's stuff like this and i give you guys a fighting chance as best i can for this stuff and it's one of those where i do get a lot of good feedback from you guys so thank you very much for that one and you can see on here i'm on my way to get in another victory another first place the finish lines up there just a few little tight corners so make sure i hit the brakes completely sort of messing it up but because i've got a lead i'm all right you know these guys aren't generally going to catch me unless i completely screw things up too much which at the moment i'm not because it's a nice gentle turn here going up towards the finish so naturally i've got my foot to the floor and a little drift and these guys are just just gone by felicia you know and that's a first place finish 20 points again giving me a total of 40. excellent it's the third and the final event lakehurst cops circuit and all i need to do for this one is get second place so i'm in a good position i'm aiming for first place naturally but the pressure is off me a little bit on this so this is a case of go 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 taking fourth taking second i've got mate mallard or matt mallard there goodbye you've gone off into the wall and i've got first place it's a lapped event it's not a sprint it's a lap so you have to go around here three times and yeah you're definitely flying off around me and your little triumph for whatever you, whatever it is you're driving but no i'm not having it i'm not going to let you win i don't want to let you win i want to get this free for free right i want to get my 60 points i want to go that's it i've won and you know taunt the virtual players you know taught me AIs but um yeah so this championship's all right and it's pretty straightforward and again if you like what I'm doing hit that like button hit subscribe if I'm stuff useful I do appreciate you guys leaving me comments hitting my likes and subscribing because it does definitely help my channel get noticed because YouTube's got this algorithm, there's a lot of stuff talked about it, a lot of people speak about it. And no one really sort of fully understands it, but one of the key things that people do understand is it's all about like the like ratios, the comments and you know, subscriber levels and stuff like this. It's all about sort of like your interactions and responses. So if you do like this stuff, you know, just hit that like you know subscribe to the channel if you do find yourself keep coming back you know time and time again week after week looking at the stuff i'm doing and you know just leave me a message saying hi really you know i was sort of around to answer questions a lot of the time so if you guys have something like that you're not sure about i'll always try to help you with it and and that's it you know because i want to try and sort of build a community a bit with this stuff because force has got an awesome community anyway but I want to sort of you know just sort of just do some stuff so second lap in and it started to rain yeah make stuff a little bit different a little bit slippier so you need to be a bit careful clip the flag on that one sometimes that would count as a as a miss but it hasn't on this one so i'm not really going to be complaining for that and i can see the line up there so I'm not too far away now from hitting this third and the final lap and hitting this championship out of the park. 
and these guys are doing a pretty good job of tailing me on here they are actually doing a good job of keeping up and putting a bit of pressure on but i know i only have to get second so even if i just do a little mistake towards the end and and it will be the guy in the in my little triumph will pass me i know i'll still get the championship in and jobs are good and but I'm determined to get first place on this one. I'm determined to get a clean sweep on it all and make sure that nobody else stands a chance at stopping me getting whatever it was you get as a prize. I can't remember. It's the... Oh, yeah, it's the new car. It's a new exclusive car, isn't it? It's the Honda. The old classic Honda, which apparently... If you go by the Forza live streams, it's a pretty underpowered car. It's only got a little bit of horsepower on it, but it's got upgrade options where you can absolutely mod the crap out of it. You can make it into an S1 monster, apparently. And that should be interesting. I've not had a chance to really sort of play around with that. Because with this stuff, I record the championships sort of in advance, a few days in advance I record the championships and I don't keep the save files. So what you're seeing here is sort of like a parallel universe in a way. But that's that through the line, first place, jobs are good. And, and I haven't had a chance to play with any of these sort of new exclusive cars. And I will do later on after you guys have watched this stuff because I've completed it when you watched it. But... That 70s championship is completed, and this is what we're after, the Honda S800. A few credits along the way as well, so if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and until next time, thank you for watching, take it easy, and happy driving.